Oh, and welcome to the Authority of Love. I'm your host, Greg Williams, joined again by our wonderful co-host, David Walls of the Family Foundation for another Family Foundation Friday. David, thanks again for joining us. I know you've got a lot on your plate yeah. that's going on now. There's a lot going on we want to talk about, uh, but welcome, first of all. Yeah, no, good to be with you, Greg. And you, well, and, and you're going to be doing some traveling. Yeah. So that's coming up for sure. Yeah. Just tell the folks a just, little bit about what you're doing. Well, just uh, looking forward to uh, uh, an opportunity to spend some time with family and some important uh, policy conferences with some of our national allies. And, and I, I spoke to a, a great group in Bowling Green, actually, the night before we recorded this. So I traveled yeah. this morning, yeah. Greg. <laughs> got you to look great, man. Got to great. visit the newest <laughs> Buckies uh, in Kentucky uh, <laughs> with about apparently 5,000 other people. Uh <laughs> But no, it's yeah. it's it's good to be traveling sometimes. Well, well you were in Bowling Green, Kentucky, and I had right. a conference in at a church in Bowling Green, Missouri. Oh, okay. This last weekend, okay. we came back and we saw a new Bucky's on the way out there. But this one was in uh, Indiana or Illinois, I okay. think it was. You know, they moved a little further north. Yeah. And amazed, there were like two hundred gas pumps. Oh my goodness! On these things, yeah. it's crazy. Yeah. And and there was only like two cars at yeah. the gas pumps. Yeah. I don't know how they do it, but. I think they figured something out. Of course, you said the food was great. I'm not eating there, but my kids have. They love it. So, uh, so great. Good to have you again. Uh, we're wrapping up uh, what one side calls Pride Month, and we've called it uh, as graciously as we can, but as, as truthfully as we can, Child Grooming Month. And uh, one of the things that's happened, I know you want to talk about, is the uh, celebration of the Dobbs anniversary that overturned Roe v. Wade, but a reminder that we need to keep the the battle going oh, absolutely. for that reason. So share a little bit with our listeners about what's going on with that. Yeah, you know, this is just uh, on uh, Monday this week, Greg, June 24th, was the second anniversary of the Dobbs decision that saw Roe v. Wade come down. And uh, it was a, you know, a monumental decision. It was an overturning of the most egregious Supreme Court decision in our nation's history that, you know, directly resulted in, in 60, 65 million, probably yeah. even more than that, yeah. Yeah. Uh, pre-born, precious pre-born image bearers uh, killed in the womb. Um, but as you and I have talked, uh, and I think uh, hopefully, you know, most of our listeners recognize the battle to protect pre-born life has only gotten more intense and only continues to get more intense as the as, as we move forward. Uh, you know, we're, we also celebrate that here in the Commonwealth, you know, our the Human Life Protection Act that triggered the trigger law mm -hmm, right. uh, prohibiting abortion went into effect and it's withstood some different legal challenges, but our pro-life laws are still in effect in Kentucky. Um, I believe, Greg, the stats are that there are 25 states that have pro-life laws that at least at a minimum protect pre-born life uh, at 15 weeks or sooner. Mm -hmm. um, obviously, that's not the goal. The goal is to, to lead to the abolition oh, of right. abortion here in Kentucky and across, across the nation. But we do need to pause and remember and thank the Lord for what he's done. Yes. You know, uh, the stats are, you know, that there's uh, an estimated over 200,000 pre-born lives that are being protected by the pro-life laws that have been passed, like here in Kentucky and other states. Um, but look, we're... Um, We've seen some election results, whether it be uh, some of these um, ballot initiatives that have not gone the way of the pro-life movement since right. Dobbs right. was overturned. Obviously, we're in the middle now of a presidential election. Yes. I believe we're yes. going to have the first presidential um, debate, debate yeah, uh, we'll uh, happening we'll <laughs> Don't hold your breath, this we week, might. or it, may, uh, it just happened. We'll see how that goes. Yes. Life is going to continue to be a front and center issue. The, the Democratic Party is increasingly, day by day, making radical pro-abortion agenda a central theme of the campaign. The Biden administration is very clear that they are making a, this a central theme of the campaign. I saw an article recently, Greg, that said that pro-abortion groups are preparing, I think, to spend something like $140 million in this upcoming election cycle to promote pro-abortion candidates. Killing of babies. So as wow. we... As we reflect on, on two years, and um, you know, some of my big takeaways are, are continue to be that we have got to do more to disciple the body of Christ, yes. to understand yes. a biblical worldview at the most foundational level. Yeah. Because when you understand that, then you understand why it's so important to get out and get involved and be engaged, whether that's you know um, politically 
or in other ways, yes. supporting our pro-life ministries, our pregnancy care centers, all the various ways that we're called to be involved to stand yeah. for life. Well, and our um, good friends over at Planned Parenthood are playing a role in this as well, right? Right. Well, yeah. they're, they're continuing to, to expose why we've got to continue to stand for yes. life. And just yeah. because, for example, we have a law prohibiting abortion here in Kentucky, the reality is there's thousands of women that are going across state lines yeah. uh, and getting, uh, killing their preborn children in other states. Uh, we have the continued issue of the chemical abortion pill, and uh, even though we've got laws that are supposed to protect against that, we know that you, know, there, you can go online and order, order these deadly pills from India and from China. Right. And, uh, but the, the story that you're alluding to, Greg, in Planned Parenthood is, is out of uh, Missouri, where their attorney general's office has, uh, I believe, filed a lawsuit against uh, Planned Parenthood because one of these uh, uh, exposed videos mm -hmm. that uh, where we see the you know nefarious activities, and nefarious is probably putting it politely, yeah, that's a nice uh, of Planned Parenthood, yeah. where they were essentially admitting they are trafficking, you know, underage uh, minors uh, against their parents' wishes, hiding it from parents. Against the state law. Right, against the state in, law that they're, that in, they're right. in. And I think this is just a really good reminder that the abortion trafficking issue continues to be a, a, a major concern. And there have been states that have looked, uh, our neighbors to the south, Tennessee, um, and I guess we congratulate them, Greg, on uh, on their yeah, uh, NCAA <laughs> championship. On their NCAA yeah, yeah. can do that, yeah. yeah uh, we, uh, Plan but uh, I'm also going to congratulate them that they, they passed a, a law to um, start the process of trying to protect children from um, and to stop those that are seeking to traffic uh, yeah. their citizens across state lines yeah. to kill preborn children. Yeah. There's other states, and I, I hope that that's a, a, an issue that we can look yeah, at I'd here in, in Kentucky, Kentucky yeah. in the upcoming legislative yeah. session. So um, it, it's a lot to take in, but the takeaway is we need to pause. We need to be thankful, mm -hmm. uh, and we need to recommit ourselves each and every day to stand for life yeah. as we seek to, yeah. to honor the Lord. Uh, if nothing else, you mentioned a couple of things people could do, but one of them, please be praying. Yes. Especially as we think of life being in the image of God, which is as Christians, we're supposed to know that and believe that, which means that every life is given from conception on yeah. is life from God. Yeah. Uh, regardless of any issues, it's yeah. life from God and we should protect it. Along those lines, you talked about uh, trafficking and we talked a little bit about pride or child grooming. Uh, Pornhub. We've talked about that yeah. before and the law that was so strong. Uh, you talked about it from your home state of Texas. I found out recently that Texas was actually the eighth state at which the laws had been there, the biggest, but the laws had come in there and Pornhub had moved out. Yeah. Kentucky, after our law was passed, there are now four others with Kentucky to bring it to, I think it's 13 now, yeah. that Pornhub has, has moved out. That That is an example, folks, of good laws bringing about great change. Yeah. Bringing yeah. about great change. And let me just share uh, uh, something that happened recently. Um, there was a video, a hidden video by an organization, investigative organization that said that Pornhub and their senior editors and writers were literally working to groom younger children and, and gave the scenario. So play, suppose yeah. you're a 12-year-old boy and you're still unsure. Yeah. Why wouldn't we market something like that and put it out there? How, how, how dangerous and destructive is that? And so, yeah. again, good laws. we got to keep them going. The battles yeah, continue. No, no. You know, that, it's, the, uh, that story is, it's, you know, it, it's sickening. Yes. Uh, yeah. But this is the reality of what's going on. And just to remind our listeners, you know, how does the law that, that passed here in Kentucky and others that, that Pornhub is, is reacting to, essentially what these laws do is just require meaningful age verification to yeah. ensure yeah. That children don't have uh, are protected, are protected, yeah, and don't yeah. have access. And right. what you're seeing is, uh, you know, the largest uh, por uh, pornographic provider in the world saying we don't want to follow the law. Yeah. We don't want to see children protected. Yeah. Um, and, and because they know that those that are accessing those sites don't want to have yeah, to yeah, go point. through yeah. age verification. Yeah. Yeah. Here's Even the adults. Right. Well, go, go. Yeah. I, you're not going to get my information because yeah. it could come, which tells you that people in their conscience, as the Bible talks about, 
know that this right. stuff is wrong. I don't care how legal we make any of this. Yeah. When it goes against God's word, it's immoral and it's wrong. Yeah. And we've got to love them, but we've got to stand on that truth. Yeah. Well, here's an interesting thing too, Greg, with, with most of these messages that they're being popped up to mm-hmm. try to um, scare their users and saying, hey, we're going to be shutting down access in your state. Yeah. And a lot of them, they're encouraging folks to go contact their legislators yes and yeah. and and, and uh, express you know uh, being upset that the fact that the legislature took action more. right <laughs> yeah. so it'd be yeah. interesting to how see how many doing? people <laughs> no we, i actually was I had a conversation about this yeah. I, I i don't know that i've heard a, a, a lot from legislators but here's what i would tell people to do instead is this is a good opportunity to reach out to your state legislator both your house member and your senate member yeah. if you're not familiar with who they are you can go to our website at KentuckyFamily.org and click over to find your elected yes, officials yes. and contact, uh, and, and contact them. Yeah. them and say, thank you for taking a stand on this issue this session. It's having a, a real impact. Um, you know, we, we so many times, Greg, you know, especially during the legislative session, we're, you know, encouraging folks, you know, support yeah. this bill, support this yeah, bill, support yeah, this yeah. bill. And sometimes we can forget to say, it's a good idea to thank them when they've done the yeah, right thing. Yeah. And as you and I were discussing in Kentucky, this issue actually passed yep. unanimously. Yep. There was not a single vote against it in either chamber. Legislator, right, um, right. The governor signed it. So I can with confidence say you can reach out to your state Every legislator. Them, that's and, right. And I was going to say that. Uh, and speaking of that, you can t- call or talk to or email any one of them and say thank you, yeah. as you just said, because right. every one of them yeah. voted for this. It, it is common sense, but it goes deeper than common sense, David. Uh, we can have some common sense that that sometimes goes against the word, but in this case, it's right in line with right. the word. And we yeah. want to make sure the word guides us as Christians. Yeah. Speaking of legislators, I know you've got a, some things coming up here uh, not too long. You've got some town halls coming up, right? Yeah, share with our yeah. Listeners what those are. we're excited. We've been working on these for a while, and John Razor on our team who does church mm-hmm. outreach done a, a great job connecting us with some churches that were willing to host these. Uh, but um, coming up on July 30th, uh, here in Lexington at Anchor Baptist Church, we're going to have our first what we're calling a legislative update town hall. Yeah. And we're just going to be sharing information about some of the laws that were passed this session, mm-hmm. looking towards a lot of the important issues that you and I have talked about that didn't get across right, the finish line right. this session. We'll be spending some time to educate folks about the important school choice uh, constitutional amendment, Amendment 2, that will be on the ballot. And then we're going to, we're excited. We'll have some pro family legislative leaders joining us uh, here in Lexington. We'll have uh, our good friend, uh, State Representative Matt Lockett, who was on our program not that long ago, a uh, State Representative Jennifer Decker. Uh, so excited about that, July 30th in Lexington. We're also going to host one August 8th in Sonora, and then uh, a little bit later in the year in September, September 12th in. Um, in Somerset. And folks can get all the details about those events and register their free events at KentuckyFamily.org. Come and meet them, come and ask some questions, hear what's going on, it'd be great. Uh, And you mentioned this, Uh, it is out now, let me show you, we got a little visual here if you're watching the video. There David, show them that one man, we got a couple of different ones here, but yes on two, that is going to be amendment two on the uh, general election here in Kentucky, and it is uh, to give parents and students more educational choice. Yeah, yeah. and essentially, essentially yeah. allow the General Assembly to have all the options on the table to set education policy in, in yeah. Kentucky. Yeah. So, and folks can learn more. Uh, there's some uh, an organization that set up a website, KentuckyStudents.org, okay. that will have some more information. We'll be, yeah. We've been sharing information about it as well. But um, it's going to be a really important issue um, on the ballot here in Kentucky. Yeah, and so we'll continue to alert you to that and keep pushing that yes on too. So we want to thank you for that. Uh, Thanks for our listeners. Thanks for the ones that view and listen and contact us. We really appreciate that. Uh, Thank you for your prayers. Thanks always to the Lord. Make it a great day, and God bless in the love and lordship of Christ. I'm Greg Williams with David Walls, and you're listening to The Authority of Love.